Hello, today I'm going to show you how to create a picture reveal game using just PowerPoint. In this tutorial I will show you how to do it, but I will also share the template so you can use the template straight away to build your games. Alright, so here we are in a blank PowerPoint document. We can swap to a blank slide, we don't need any text for this game. We will insert a shape. In my case, I'm going to use a perfect square. So I'm drawing some rectangle first, like that, and then I can type in the size from the keyboard here. I will try to pick uh, the size that will cover almost all of the area here. So 4.8 should be all right. All right, here's my little square. Of course, I'm free to adjust the color of the shape and add some special effects like shadow or glows. So feel free to customize this shape to your needs. I will make it green and I will also add some inner shadow from the preset effects here. All right, let's go with inner shadow like this one in the center. All right, so here my shape. I'm going to add animation to it to make it disappear. So let's go to animation tab and animation we want to attach to this element is the red one, exit animation. Exit animation will make object disappear. So pick an interesting exit animation for your shape. In my case, I think maybe uh, something like fading through the shape and this shape should be a square as well, I think. That's interesting, maybe to the center, like that. Cool, it looks like it's shrinking down, so that's really nice effect. I can change how long it should play, maybe a little bit shorter, and now very important, the trigger. So I want to trigger this animation when I click on this object exactly, not whatever in the slide. I must click on this shape to trigger exit animation, to make it disappear. After we add the trigger, we are ready to duplicate this element. So we can simply right click, copy and right click paste or use the keyboard shortcut. All right, and as you can see, not only copy a shape, but we also copy the behavior, the animation, the trigger is already there. So we can simply maybe modify the color a little bit. And now our task is to populate this slide with copies of those two shapes to cover the whole area. Because our picture will be hidden below those shapes. Based on what we did so far, the shape will disappear when we click on it. That's our exit animation trigger by click. All right, so as you can see, I make duplicates of that very same shape. I got two shades of, of green. And now I'm ready to drag and drop a picture. So let's place a picture here. I advise you to make this picture a little bit bigger than the overall size of the slide. So it's popping up a little bit. All right, and now we simply move this picture below shapes. So you can reorder and send it to the back. After you send your picture to the back, I advise you to actually make a copy of this whole picture to the new blank slide. So let's copy that, create a new blank slide and paste this picture here. So that's what we're going to see after we finish the game. The result, the whole picture reveal. All right, as the final touch, we can also add a nice transition between slides. Maybe something flashy, this is the game after all, so we don't need to be, don't need to be too serious here. Maybe <laughs> a very flashy transition like this one. Yeah, that's nice. And over here as well. All right, now we are ready for the first test. So let's play this slideshow. And as you can see, my picture is covered with shapes. Whenever I click on the shape, the shape will disappear and reveal a piece of the picture. 
if somebody from my audience guess what it is, I can click on the image and move to the next slide. I don't need to destroy all the pieces like that. And I'm in the next slide when all the pieces are gone. That's how you can use this template. As I mentioned, I will drop a link to the template itself. So you don't need to do it yourself, but I kind of advise you to do it as a practice. You can try to do your own version with different size of the rectangle. All right. Before I send the file to you, let me just make two more versions. It's really easy to customize the color for this, so I can just simply select those rectangles, squares, and we can modify the color. So let's turn this second one to be a blue. All right, we are just changing fill color and for the darker version of blue as well. Holding shift, I can select multiple objects. And let's go with the darker version of blue color here. Nice. And now we simply hide the image behind. So again, drag and drop the image. Make it large to cover the whole area of the slide. I recommend to make it a, at least a little bit bigger than the slide itself and then send it to the back behind shapes. Make a copy for the empty slide as the reveal picture. All right. For the next one, let's modify our shapes. Not all shapes need to be in the same color or size. Take a look. We can make some changes here. We can modify some shapes. Some of them will be larger. Some of them will be smaller. Then we can customize colors as well. That's really quick process because we already set up animations for exit. So we can just focus on the visual aspect now. So this third version is a remix version with different sizes of the tiles. All right, that's nice. You can even double tap on some shapes and you can type something for your viewers, maybe some equations for students to solve or stuff like that. So feel free to be creative with this template. All right, it's time to drag and drop the image for this third example. We got dog and cat. Maybe I will go with the horse for this one. Let's stick with the animals. All right. So again, it's really simple. Just drag and drop. Then be sure that you cover the whole area. So make the image larger. And as I mentioned before, make it a little bit larger than shape. So you can see it around. Send to the back. And then don't forget to make a duplicate, make a copy of this image for the next slide. So we can see the final result here. All right, let's check our slideshow. Let's play it. All right, the first image is here. We can click on different shapes here to make them disappear and reveal the picture. If someone guess, you can click on the picture itself to move to the solution like that. Then there's a the next puzzle. This is the one that we turn blue. It's exactly the same one. And you already know how to easily put your picture behind those shapes. And the third one is the one we customize. So we got different sizes here. Take a look. So feel free to customize and modify this template. All right. As I mentioned, the link is in the description. If this is your first time here, please consider subscribing for more tutorials like this. And I hope I will see you in the next video. Bye.